everyone, it's Bella Germanils, and I am so excited to bring you this new DIY project. I was so inspired by this cartoon patch girl who has so much attitude, and I thought I could create something that just really complements her look with roses, her bow tie, and a pearl necklace. And I wanted to share it with all of you since you have all loved the patch handbags. And I know a lot of you are doing it, and I'm so excited every time I see one of your projects. So before I go into the details of the handbag, I did want to let you know a few things. I'm going to be having a giveaway on my channel, so I'm very excited to post that. It'll be my way of saying thank you for following me for seven years. My subscribers and my following has been very loyal through the course of time, even through a period of me not posting as often as I am now. So I am eternally grateful for that. I am inspired by all of you to keep creating, so I hope that you stay tuned for many years to come. I will be doing the giveaway. September 28th will be the day that I announce winners on my social media or on my YouTube channel. I'm not yet sure, but the video will be coming soon where I'll show you what I'll be giving away. So make sure you stay tuned for that and stay subscribed. Now, for my new followers, welcome to my channel. I hope that you enjoy the content that I'm putting out. If you have any suggestions, recommendations, or would like to see particular videos, please let me know. I do read all your comments, and it is my pleasure to share all the links for all the products that I use in my videos. You guys are very gracious and you thank me for that. It is my pleasure to do so. I want you to keep this in mind. I will always keep in mind your pocketbook. I will always look for quality products at amazing prices so that you all can have a crack at these DIYs that I do. I don't want to break the bank when making these bags, so I always keep cost in mind, whether you can afford it or not. So let's get started with the details of the bag. So here is this bag that I created that I thought was absolutely adorable. The patch, the girl with the lips, she actually has lips under this embellishment, but I wanted to just give it the 3D effect because of course that's what I'm known for. But she has so much attitude that I thought I need to splash her on a handbag and share it all with you because this is just like giving you life, truly. The patch with the roses, I put a bow tie, some oversized rhinestone encrusted lips. I did embellish her glasses because I love that. And I put a dangling necklace here and some brooches that have the five. So it's Parisian inspired and it is such a cute bag. I wore it out yesterday and people were stopping me constantly because it's quite a stunner. So the bag itself is a very nice quality except for the actual denim that's woven in between the chain is a bit too long for the chain. So there's parts of it that kind of stick out which you can fix. You can either cut it and sew it again where it comes out of the chain or you could just tuck it behind and not have it really be a big deal. Now this bag is sold out on the website where I purchased it, but there is a waiting list. So make sure you get on that waiting list so you can be notified when they will have it back in stock. So I'm also gonna show you how this bag looks on the body so you get an idea of how big it is. So this is how it looks on the body. You could see how large it is. You, again, can carry it this way. or over the nook of your arm, this way. So keep watching this video if you'd like to learn how to create this beauty. Pop a comment below if you have any questions for me. If you like this bag, please thumbs it up. If you don't like this bag, please thumbs it up. Life's too short for downward thumbs. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye. Okay guys, so I have already mapped out the design I'm going to be doing for this purse. So always keep an image of the overall look so that you don't forget what you're going to be doing. So let's get started. Have all your essentials ready. Your glue, your scissors, napkins, towels, anything that you're going to need to get started. I'm cutting the stems from the bottom flowers since I'm not going to be needing all these leaves. 
Now remember to take a visual assessment of all the outer perimeters and stay within the perimeters of the bag so that you have less lifting. Now flipping this is going to be a little difficult because the leaves are so flimsy. Make sure you adhere the top part of the flower first and then move on to the petals and such. Get as close as you can to the edges of the patch because those are the sections that come undone quickly. It'll peel off the quickest from the edges if it's not adhered properly. So don't be scared to get very close to the outer edges there. Just don't put so much glue that it groups out everywhere. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to E6000. Okay guys, on the, if you're overlapping any of these leaves over the sequence, the fabric fusion glue will not adhere. So make sure you use your E6000 just for the leaves to adhere to the top part. This last step is completely optional. You could adorn it with any brooches you have. You could put any authentic Chanel brooches that you have. She's just full of personality and she is so stylish, even without the embellishments or the bow tie with their hair slicked back and her turtleneck and she's just precious. So I wanted to make sure that this bag complements her full aesthetic and I think that adding any kind of brooches, whether they be pearls, rhinestones, authentic brooches that you may have already in your closet, you can just decorate your bag completely. I have a pearl necklace that I may use as an accent dangle since you guys know that I love to place jewelry on my handbags. So yeah, that's the finished product there. I will be placing books and then I will show you what it looks like when it's fully dry.